Women of all ethnicities have a preference of dating ethnically white men. Why are you blaring that away, bro? <laughs> what? He said, I'm not getting cancelled. I'm not getting cancelled. He said, I'm not getting cancelled. That is unheard of. I've never seen that, man. No, that's actually bad. He said, he's blurred he said, out white. white. But can you get cancelled for that now? I don't know. Nah. Yo, what's good, my boys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Pierce Post in the building. And welcome to part four, the grand finale of the Bunkin' Black Pill Beliefs. Just making this little intro because I had to cut the main video into two because it was too long. Hopefully you enjoyed the first part and the second part and the third part. If you haven't seen those parts, I'll link them in the description or somewhere. And without further ado, let's get to it. 87. Women only date up in terms of value. There is no dating down out of sympathy because she feels bad for the guy who can't find anyone else. This is cap. This yeah, is not true. One bit. I think I think most women would like to date up in value, and most women try to date up in value. But a lot of times, this even ends up in they just like end up being like someone's side piece because the guy is like wife. way way like higher in attraction and status Money, and stuff than they are. So they end up just being a side piece to that guy or. As we've seen, I think from personal experience, I've seen a lot of like bummy guys that that end up getting looked after by girls. It happens. It, it, it yeah, happens. Yeah. Like yeah. it happens. But realistically, yeah. these guys have to be attractive. Yeah. As 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 an ugly guy, you know, sorry, no girl's gonna be looking after you and, and trying to help you out. It depends what you mean by value. Yeah. These are always focused on looks. So it's talking about oh, value. Never talking about. Never talking about. Is this about all looks? This, this is just looks. It's looksism, bro. Black people is just looks. Looks, looks, looks. So that's that's their main thing. Women only date up in value. Only date up, yeah. so the, the guy has to be Lena. Yeah. Impossible. I thought it was the other way. Mm. I thought it was the other way. I thought it was literally the other way, like, it's just known to be the other way. Like, mm. that's interesting. Is it not? I don't know, because I think, I think for their, for the their point of view. kind of settling, but like, it's like a good yeah. settle. I guess like, so. Oh, this is the best settle now. I don't, I don't think, I'm not sure if men think. Um, as much about the up and down value and stuff as women do. I don't think so. Really. I think for guys, Actually, it's like, kinda, you know, it's like, it's, it, like do, I, do I find her attractive? Yeah. Do I like her? Then yeah, I'm gonna go for. I think for women, there's a lot more steps. There's like, nah, there's do my more friends, steps. Do my friends steps. Think yeah, no, nah, friends. You, you mention friends for the guys. Oh, like, but friends are being there. Oh, no. Oh, come on, boss. Yeah, sorry. I'm just. That, that's, 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 that's out of the question. That's out of the question. Just have to make sure. That's out of the question. Just have to make sure. Yeah, that's out of the question. But I think, I think women do try to date up in value. I think that's their goal. But I think a lot of the time women end up, you know, yeah, they end up settling for guys that maybe weren't on the level. But I think that ends up usually in them breaking up. Yeah, down the road eventually. Yeah. So maybe, yeah. maybe it's right. Maybe it's right. Cheating, so not cheating. I'm not yeah. saying either. Listen, don't cancel me. I'm not saying men or women. Just cheating. Thank you. Yeah, cheating bad. Eighty-eight. <laughs> And if there are no men available for her to date up in value, she would rather share a chad than have a beta all to herself. Andrew Tate says, "I right, babes, come in. Mm. But I've got five things here. Also, you just want to be, you go, it want to be the sixth. Or peace wax, the one and only. I can't, if you don't make peace wax, nah. <laughs> you don't make peace wax. Nah, 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 nah. clearly, nah, but they're picking Andrew Tate. Like, yeah, I get know. it, I get it. Like, so, but I'd pick Andrew Tate, like, in that situation. Like, come so, on, is, is that if, She's looking for like an actual relationship, or if she's just if she just she's looking for some I don't know. Because I think for I, know, I yeah, think so I, I think realistically, a woman that's like wants to be serious and wants to have a relationship with someone, I don't think she ever want to share the yeah, boyfriend. Nah, so nah, they're not, I think yeah. this depends on the type kids, of girl. If you don't want kids, or... yeah, I think I think if you're like a young girl who's like just dating for fun, then they probably would rather share yeah. a top guy than date like a mid. It's an experience. Guy, so. I guess so. I think it just depends on how mature you are. Yeah. 89. The only exception to this is where a woman will deliberately date down with a guy in order to seize control of the relationship. I don't know if it's deliberate. Do you think like, I don't think it's the de deliberate, but like if the girl, say the girl is, the woman's the bread wins, like the guy's even, he's not working, the woman's the, like she's, but like they have kids and all of this, like the woman. She wouldn't say them. Nah, I think they, I think she oh, women, take women, women get divorces. Yeah, they do, but I, I reckon well, if they have kids and that, you know, make up but a couple. Well, but she knows if she gets a divorce, the kids are coming for her anyway. And then what? I've, you've loved me for how long? And then, babes. And then, and then now he's paying child support. She doesn't mind. She get money. Impossible. What do you mean? Impossible. I'm paying child support, and you have the kids. 
But that's the rules. Yeah, no, I know. There's, there's, there's laws. But, no, but, like, no, but like, you've, made, you've, <laughs> left, you've left me. You yes. took the kids. Yep. Because I, 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 I was I broke. Know. And now you're saying child support. Nah, nah. Child support the child support thing is actually crazy, you know? It is crazy. The child support thing is crazy. I've seen a woman beat, like, she. She beat the case for the child support thing in America. Walked out of the courtroom. The guy is there walking off like shaking his head. She's recording me. She's like, yeah, I told you, I told you. Yeah, run me, run me my checks now. Run me my checks. You out here spending money on a new girl? But you out here spending money on a new girl? Now you can spend money on me too. I was like, oh, damn. I think that's a bit of a reach. I think he's... It's not a regular thing. That's not like... I think maybe crazy. I think crazy people date down to have control in general. I don't think like, <laughs> normal people do that, but... There's a lot of crazy women, I'll tell you that right now. So, um... Yeah, maybe that's facts. 90. This will often lead to things such as the woman will decide if and when intimacy happens. Yeah. Yeah, I think, mate. Because the, the guy will just be sort of desperate for it. Then she will know that he's desperate for it. So that power is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kind agree, you know. I think it makes sense. But I think also in these kind of situations where it looks like, like I think the situation he's painting where like, a woman is dating someone she probably doesn't find attractive or that yeah. attractive. Why would why would you want to sleep with someone that you don't find attractive? So I, I get it. It's probably true then. Yeah, sure. But what, vice versa for a guy that's with, with like a mid or blue mid girl. Yeah, guys, 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 guys get guys the urge. Yeah. The splurge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. For ninety one. The man needs to compensate for his lack of looks by contributing disproportionately more financially towards the relationship. She's like has higher status than him. Like she's more attractive. He knows that. He's punching. So now he's got to pay. It depends, man. If I'm dating Riri, I'll give her my whole bank. Like I don't even. Do you even need that though? Yeah, but just for the love. This is love. Take my whole. Take. He's all, he's take all he's of me. Take he's all sipping. of me. Take all of me. You want my shoes? You want my Balenci that I broke? You take that's them. Everything. Take everything. Hundred yeah. percent. But then if it's just like a, what like, a, what like a regular girl. So like she's just a regular person like us, but just hella lame. Guess so. Just, what I should give her all my money? No, it's basically like you'd have to like. Oh, for her to be dating me, I'd need to be. No, as in paying you, for everything. You, and that. Yeah, like you'd, you'd probably be paying for the meals, paying for the rent if you stay, stay together, things like that. Listen, you do that for regular girls. That kind of happens yeah, anyway. Yeah, like, yeah, so. What do you mean? Like, yeah. Ninety two. Polygamy is becoming an ever more present reality for the future of the dating market. There's a lot of things play play into it. Religion. Because hmm. apparently, I don't know, I don't, don't quote me, but I know some Muslims say that they can have multiple wives or whatever. And women, I mean, if a guy's very hella successful and that's what you want, you might not want kids and that. I, I guess mean, so, but I think he's literally just referring to just like basic, oh, just like, just, like just, just dating in general. Bulk people, level, like. people being like more open to having like um, open relationships where there's like more than. Oh. Yeah, it actually is, that, but that, that, like, that starts kind of, that starts kind of crazy, like. I, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not sharing. What I'm bringing not, in I'm someone sharing, else? I'm not so the no, girl, so your girl says, I want to bring in, and then I want to bring another guy, and she, and she even knows, she already shows you the guy, so she's this one. Hmm. Yeah, but that, what, 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 vice versa is that? Nah, okay? exactly. So vice versa. What if it's the, if it's if, a girl? If it's a, if it's a guy put, saying, oh yeah, I want to bring this girl, this girl in, this girl in. Target. But then what if the, what if the, what if the girls want it? Yeah, then she's on it. But if, if a guy if a guy is on it, then what is that? Is it? Hell no! Exactly. See, <laughs> see, see, hell? See, see, see. hell no! Wait, no, hell no. No, I don't know. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. I ain't on it. I ain't on it. I ain't yeah, on it. Yeah, you ain't it. It gotta be. But I think it is. I think it is becoming a more like a more noticeable trend in dating. But I think that's mainly because I think there's a lot of women that are getting to the point where they don't want to be like a normal person. Yeah. They want to be like a top guy, and the top guys have lots of choices. So they end up being like, okay, if you want to, you want to be with me, you got to deal with this girl and that one and that one as well. And they're like, I think, oh. I, but I think like that's kind of a bit shit. I think a lot of, I feel, I think a lot of women are kind of just trading in like morals for just like a bit of money and money fun for a bit, like. Because like, long term, no way that's lasting, lad. There's, long there's term, no way I, I, don't, I don't see that all working. All three of you, are like, yeah, no, we're doing this for the rest of our lives. Nah, Ain't no way. Let me have a drama. 93. It is impossible for any woman, irrespective of her attractiveness, to not be able to get intimacy within the very next 24 hours. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, I have girlfriends. Whoa. <laughs> Girl, whatever that is, dash friends, yeah. That, yeah, I've seen their phone and Instagram is cr Like, men, I sometimes I thought it was damn bad. Men are feeling you. Mm. Men are. 
Even the older men that are kind of like on the creep yeah, and the things that are trying to uh, well. pay you money for all of this. No, bro, it's, it's there. Like, if the, if the girl's really down bad and really wants the 97 year olds for 10 racks. I think just the, the sentence itself, all women have access to industry 27, it's, it's true. But it's missing nuance. Like, what's the yeah, like, what's the quality alien, of this? Like, what's the quality alien, of this or, intimacy? Or alien, like, like, just a random random off the street. Okay, great. Now what? Like, is is, is what's the point of that really? But I tell you, how was her Tinder going off? And mine, I only got a match in seven weeks. Probably because the fact is that women women's women's sexuality is more valuable than male sexuality. Yeah. Male sexuality is just like it's it's available anywhere. For a woman to be open to doing that, it's a lot rarer because it makes sense. Like as a woman. You can't be doing what what guys do. If you if yeah. you do, you, 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 your life's yeah, gonna end up being crazy. Yeah, like. Yeah. Like, so it makes sense. I get, I get yeah, it. Yeah. Ninety four. Dating is like supermarket shopping for women, but like trying to find life in outer space for men. Ninety five. Wait, no, no, say that one again. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, so dramatic. He said dating for women is like supermarket shopping. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. dating for men is like trying to find life in space. Why is this guy, so, this guy making it sound nah, so horrible? he is the one that is... Yeah, he, he, he has he's just down bad PTSI, <laughs> nah, he's deep down in... He's deep down inside his heart that he can't... There's a girl that broke his heart. Oh, honestly, that's like, true. And he's never come back the same mm. from it. I agree with the first one, though. Supermarket shopping, like, yeah, so just... Yeah, I think picking, women, women have oh, options. Yeah, yogurt? Nah, let me get cheese instead. Oh, wait, no, actually, I want some bacon. Yeah, I kind of, yeah. Uh, but then trying to find life in space... If you are like a three out of ten, you got no money, you can't even speak to their beans, then yeah, maybe this is you trying to find. Well, like, I think this this kind of. But then there's this, yeah, this mindset on that level though. Yeah, yeah, I, so I, I, I get that, but I think the mindset that he's pushing in general, just saying that, like, oh, for men, like dating is like basically impossible, like, be more yeah. or less trying to say. I think that already pushes out like just such a negative image to to the men that are watching this. Cause mm. like this video has been watched like hundreds of thousands of times. Oh, really? Like, so, this video's got like 600, 700,000 views. Hey, yo, bad those kids as well. Yeah. So I think this kind of this this information is just dangerous to put throw out there and make, make it seem like it's a fact. Mm. So like, cause yeah, I think the I whole that, yeah. the idea of this is like he's indoctrinating a lot of young men to think, oh man, like. There's no point in even trying. Yeah, like, like it's impossible. Like he, he can't do it. Oh, I mean, I, I probably can't do it either. And I think it, it, it ignores that. It it may it may feel like trying to find life in space at the start, but if you work if you work at improving yourself, it becomes easier. I think they're they're missing that part. The you fact that how to talk to them, you know, yeah. to get the riz. Just like anything, any, any other skill, if you work at it, eventually you get better, and yeah. it's not so hard. So twenty five. Modern women will spend their teens and twenties rejecting men who don't meet their crazy standards. How was that just like a straight, just like, fact? Yeah, I know. Like, what modern women spend their teens slash twenties rejecting men? Then, then he added it because of their crazy standards. Yeah. Wait, I don't know. I think, I think there's a bit of element of truth to the, 80, the, standards, the standards stuff, but why can't women have standards? Is that is that is that against their right to, to not want to be with someone that they don't want to be with? Like, I think I think realistically, women women like determine the the, the dating market. Yeah, what's in style? Yeah, they so that. they do, they do determine how the market goes. So if their standards are higher, then what's he talking about? As a man, that? you have to reach. You have to reach the standards. Yeah, but then that. he's probably talking about the stuff he mentioned. So like, yeah, yeah. I like and that's you can't change yeah you can, but the stuff. thing is not all not all women have these standards yeah that's, that's the what i'm saying you just need to mate hey listen whoever made this video if you're still watching this bro hey listen whoever you're aiming for just aim a bit lower <laughs> and you'll be all, like you'll be all right for real don't aim for, for real. selena gomez aim for demi laval <laughs> what a crackhead <laughs> It's cracker, that's crazy. Sorry, Demi, like. I, I, it's true, it's true, though. It's true, though. Sorry, sorry, Demi, but. Yeah, it's true, though. That's all you gotta do, like, literally. Just, just lower your standards, you'll be alright, man. Yeah, like, not all women are, are, are like this. A lot, of, a lot of girls, believe it or not, they just want a guy that they find attractive that is nice to them. Like, that's it. That's basically it. For real. Like, approach them, it, yeah, approach like, them on, a, on a regular thing. Not, hey, babes, are you on my size? Hey, babes, what are you saying, babes? Hey, let me get the. Huh? No one's trying to hear that. Just poor China. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, next. No, no, we've done. We've done. 96. Then, in their 30s, those same women will plead, Where are all the good men gone? 
This guy is so annoying. In return, this guy is literally <laughs> using like little situations, just blooming. Yeah, like, like, blooms it like nah, nah. All women. This is all women. Yeah, I think the idea he's trying to say is that when women get older, they uh, complain that good the good men are gone, but. Apparently, it's those good men that were approaching them when in their twenties. How do you know that? For one, how do you know the good men were approaching them? Like it, six, it's probably six, just regular, six regular foot three. Dudes. Yeah, like, all this stuff is what good men it means in his head, basically. Like the guy could be a demon, the worst guy on planet Earth, but he's six five. Isn't it? So then, <laughs> oh, yeah, like it's getting all the girls. It's so stupid. Like, bro, really, you need to sit down. Have a hiatus. Go Mount Everest. Sit there for six <laughs> years straight. Bro. Like really, I don't know what this deep, guy's on. Deep life. Like life is so much deeper than just like oh, I'm six foot five and I've got nice um, eyes and I've got a good jawline. So I'm five seven. Everyone, crazy everyone has eyes. to like me. Like Wham nose. I don't care. I still get the beans. <laughs> like don't, look at me. I'm not even that length, but I still get the beans and toast. It don't matter. But you're deep in it too much. Where are all the good men? Alright, babe. Treat me like white teeth. Like Don't get me dirty. 97. Modern women will friend zone unattractive guys in their 20s who have provider potential, therefore keeping him in orbit. Women will reject guys that aren't, like, the, the guys that are working towards something. Yeah, but, but not, like, not that there ain't yet. there yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, I think, I, think, I think that does happen a lot. And then when they're there, they're like, oh, they're like, oh you remember me? Yeah. Hi, like, babe. What's your name, darling? So I, I think I think I know what he means, but it's I don't think that's always a negative thing. Women don't have to yeah. date someone based on potential. With a lot of time, potential ends up being nothing. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with being friends. I mean, just as long as when that potential is reached, she ain't trying to do more than friends. Mm. Ninety-eight. Then in her thirties, she may try to settle down with the exact same guy so he can provide resources for her. Okay, one, where are you getting this from? What did I say? And 30s, like, why is he so from? specific with all the things? Like, where did you get this from? She will try and get back with the same, the same guy. Like, the same guy. But, but remember, he, he said before that women have so many options. So why would she go back to the same guy? <laughs> make it make sense, bro. Ooh, he's make going, it make sense. Nah, I got going, you there. I got you there. Yeah, I got you there. 99. The media encourages men to provide resources and simp over women. For example, just look at Valentine's Day. It's all about the man proving himself and buying gifts for the woman. Guys, believe me, I've worked in restaurants over Valentine's and I'd say 80% of the time, the man has to pay the bill in full. 20% the bill is split, 0% the woman will be the one to pay. Man said he Wait, works in the restaurant on, on Valentine's. He's in there angry. He's in there, he's in there, he's in there angry as hell. Like, he's never a couple of roses. Like, just, <laughs> no, I agree with this though. Like, yeah. Especially because it's hella sexualized now. Only fans, all of mm. this, all of this stuff. Yeah. And, and men is the one rising. Like, mm. I, I don't even know the real statistics or anything, but if you just show how much money men have spent on just even let me just let me just I said OnlyFans, let me just stay all that. Just on OnlyFans, which is hundred percent simple. Yeah. Like, which is hundred percent simple. Of course. It's in cotillions. A number I can't even name. Yeah. It's in it's I don't even know. Like. So I but I think from my perspective, I think men have always done this. Yeah. From the from the beginning of time. But like, men have always simped for women. Yeah. But I think nowadays, because of the internet, er everything is just like way bigger than it was originally. Yeah. So now you can simp for a girl that lives in a whole in different place. Bangladesh, bro. She lives in Bangladesh, that's, bro. That's all it is, though. And I'm like, hey, no, that's my girl, though. That's, that's the shit always, that like, men have more access to women everywhere, so they yeah, can crazy. simp from a yeah, million miles away. Literally. Like, regardless, men, men are going to simp, that down bad, down bad men are going to simp regardless. So, But I do, I do agree the media does encourage it. But it, they encourage it because it makes money. Yeah, it's a big Like money. Valentine's Day makes a lot of money. Like if if Valentine's, if, if Valentine's Day made no money, then the media would, wouldn't give a shit about Literally it. Literally, businesses offer discounts and stuff on Valentine's Day. Like it's a whole. It's basically yeah. like tradition now. Like it's just. But the thing is, if if men didn't want to want to do it, they didn't have to do it. There you go. But but then your girl would feel nah nah. But then I'm with him on this. If if you if you if all your friends yeah say your girl all your friends are gonna have Valentine's and your man's like no. Valentine's? What? We just went out. We went Hakkasan yesterday. Why, 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 why we need to go again today? Well, you think, think that girl is not gonna? I think, but I think that's if that's like a, like a girl that is quite immature. I think realistically, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're both very mature people, 
and you're able to actually like speak openly about everything. Yeah. You can literally be like, guy, like you can be like, babe, like Valentine's Day is stupid. Like we can literally just do whatever we want any other day. And I think if she's got a mm. good head on her shoulder, she'll be like, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Like yeah, like this, but this one day doesn't have to be. But like, oh, but no, it's Valentine's. Like everyone does Valentine's. Oh, even my, even my sister's doing Valentine's. I tell you, you're not getting out that. You're, the only way you're leaving the house is to go to a flipping restaurant and Valentine's up the day. You better have some rose petals when you get back. I don't even know. I ain't never had a Valentine's. But let me just say this. How did the guys do the rose petals when you're at the restaurant? You pay someone to do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pay someone to yeah, do it? It's, oh, it's, 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 it's a scam. Oh my God. <laughs> it's actually just saying so, you that. Know, just planning for uh, well, all right. a month time. Yeah, yeah. 100. Women see it as an insult if an unattractive man approaches her as she thinks he is insinuating he is on her level. Yeah, you know what? Kinda. Mm. Kinda like. It depends, cause some girls are a bit, they're a bit more like just straight, mm, I was gonna say hood, but not even really. They're just sort of straight to the like, ugh. Like, not even, like that might just be their first reaction, like turn around, ugh, like just, or like, I, oh, excuse me, can I get, ugh, like, just on the straight. Some might yeah, be like, pain. um, pain. yeah, some might just take up, oh, sorry, no, I don't really want to talk to you right now. But, Fair. yeah, I, I agree with that one. Too. I think women in general just have their guard up. So when they're approached yeah. by anyone in general, they've got a bit of a defense mechanism. Yeah. And when the person that approaches you is buzz, and it's ugly as hell, then you're like, oh, like, <laughs> I don't even want to talk to you in the first place. And, and you're ugly as well, like, oh, right. no. Flip this round, though. No. Wait, flip this round, though. Okay, what? So, Women, ugly women approaching men. The same, men, yeah, same thing. Like, hey, come on. Like, I, I, I don't say the same thing. Cause no, I know some men that would. Hey yo. I listen. If it's if it's if it's there, it's there. That's what I'm gonna say. If it's there, it's there. I do. But yeah, I think I think it makes sense why women would find it a bit. I I think insult is a strong is a is a strong term, but I think yeah, they will like, find it. Yeah. Uh, demeaning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, potentially, but demeaning. If, if you think about that, if, if you're like, if you're like, a, let's say you're like a IG model girl, yeah. like, you're like, everyone sees you like, being like a nine, sort of like, whatever yeah. out of ten. But the only people that approach you in real life are guys that are like two out of ten every, every yeah, time. No. You're gonna start thinking, wait, what? Like, am I actually ugly? Like, do these guys think like they're? Nah, you just think that. These guys are shook to move to me, but then the ones that have nothing to lose are like, yeah, <laughs> maybe throw all my cards on the table, maybe, maybe. all my chart blinds, I might have a chance. All right, and that last one, yeah, that's oh. 100. I think there we go. So that's it, guys. That's the uh, black pill beliefs. Maybe the bunks, probably not. I think a lot of them on this one, those they'll spit in a little bit. Yeah, cause they'll spit in a little some bit. more facts. Hey, right, listen, some more facts. I'll be real, especially yeah. about the the height and that. I don't know about the um, wood length. You need to work on yourself on that one. Um, don't be asking me my wood size, you're a man. I mean, I'm not against that. I mean, I'm against that, Louis. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, peace. peace. Oh my God. Yo, guys, thank you for watching the video. Just a little round up, as I guess this is the grand finale of the debunking Black Pill Belief series. I uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. It was very fun making this, I can't lie. Uh, and I thought it was an interesting topic. The Black Pill, I've seen it's been blowing up online with a lot of people, you know, saying that it's the, the reality of the world, etc. And I just thought it'd be interesting to have a deep dive into its main core beliefs and see how well they'll stand up to you know my uh, brilliant brain and my strategic mind anyway as you can probably see the uh, final counter i believe was 42 out of 100 that i would say i debunked or I at least say i didn't agree with so i would say that it's clear the black pill definitely does have a leg to stand on i think it definitely does hold some truth but i firmly believe that a lot of it has you know a lot of misconceptions about reality but i think altogether i think it was very interesting just having a you know a deeper look into the black pill and hopefully you guys enjoyed this as well let me know if you want me to do more content about the black about the black pill i don't mind and if not that's fine as well there's a lot of things to talk about in this world but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my future ones okay stay safe and i'll catch you later
All right, peace.